as they try to open it. A very, very difficult sprint finishes. Watch Cadell Evans on the left of our picture because Richie Port is not here. As they go head to head, Nathan Haas is being passed on the line. Daryl Impey, is he going to finish it off for Orica Greenedge? It's an awful long way to the finish, and I think it's Labarta who's coming up now. Grips his teeth and sends the telephone, but one Jose Labarto has beaten Daryl Impey on the line and Cadell Evans outside the bonuses. What a great finish. Fantastic finish. Nathan Haas went for a very long sprint from 400 metres to go. Took Impey into the sprint. Impey tried to go. Meersman started to buckle in his wheel. Average speed oh, of the oh. climb, 43 and a half kilometres an hour. But this man, the movie star rider from Spain, Juan Jose Lobato, he's then rubbed out that run of second places he's had. He's been so close so many times. Yeah. He was a pre-race favourite today. He's shown good signs, and now he's got that big win here at the Santos down, Tour Down Under. As they came into the sprint, the overhead, we saw Heyman bringing Orica Greenedge to the front, took control at just the right time. Coming from quite far back was the Cannondale Garmin team riding for Nathan Haas. They're the ones that launched the sprint. Simon Clark, he accelerates to give Impey some room. Johnny Meersman on Impey's right now in fourth position. Lobato just slots in on Meersman. He knows he's one of the big favourites. Haas in second position now. He goes for home. It's still quite a long way to go. You see the, the signs on the side showing the meterage. He hasn't even got to the 300 metre mark yet. And he's gone for home. Impey biding his time. And everybody's starting to buckle. Cadell Evans coming up on the right, making sure he's not losing any time. One of the giant Alpacin riders, that'd be Tom Dumoulin. But look from the back, the movie star rider on the left. He has come from 10th position, accelerated, gone past everybody, and gone on to a two or three length win. Juan Jose Lobato came from nowhere, and they still didn't see which way he went. And he's got a teammate in the first three as well. It's movie star all the way today. Great ride from Daryl Impey, pushing all the way to the line. Marcel Kittle's teammate, Tom Dumoulin, also up there in the top five. I didn't see Richie Port. Has he stayed intact with the leaders? Well, I hope he stayed intact. He'll get the same time. The first three will get the bonuses, and Jack Bobridge has done enough to keep the overall lead, as uh, these won't be separately time gaps on the line. The judges told me last night they look for a 16-metre gap between the back wheel and the front wheel.